And good morning. Welcome back. We're at Hebrews chapter 9, verse 34 and 35. Here's the reading, last part of the chapter. But when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunder had ceased, he sinned again and hardened his heart, he and his servants. Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he did not let the sons of Israel go, just as the Lord had spoken through Moses. So who hardened Pharaoh's heart this time? Well, did you, did you hear it in the text? It seems that Pharaoh made his choices, and Pharaoh set his heart against God. So again, this time is another, you know, Pharaoh hardening his own heart. In fact, this shows us that Pharaoh and his servants hardened their heart uh, as they opposed God. And, you know, once you start down a track of making bad decisions, it's you, you almost feel like you need to follow up. You know, you've invested in that line of action. And so what's the, what's the human tendency? The human tendency is to go ahead and, well, I've gone this far. I may as well just go a little bit further. Maybe this will all work out, right? That's the way we tend to think. And now we're down the line, plague one, plague two, plague three, plague four, you know, now we're in plague seven and on the verge of plague eight. And so, yeah, Pharaoh, these guys are really deeply entrenched in this. And once you get to a certain spot, it's hard if you're full of pride, it's hard to overcome that pride and switch directions. So pride is a very scary thing. Pride is a very dangerous piece because once you're in it, you kind of continue to invest in it. And perhaps this has, is part of the answer when we look here in a couple of days at the hardening of hearts. Pharaoh's hardening his own heart and God saying that, well, I hardened Pharaoh's heart. We'll, we'll say more about that probably on another occasion. But a lot of this is the result of, of letting yourself be taken by pride, letting yourself go, indulging in that self-serving uh, thing instead of self-renouncing love and indulging in self-service and this is about me and it's going to be my way and once you get into that track it's very hard to back out of it pharaoh is deep into that track pharaoh and his advisors they're all invested and so this this is perhaps part of the problem going on here uh, why would you know why would you do such ridiculous things why would you pour good money after bad so to speak why would you, you egypt's being destroyed it's being laid waste you guys are the guys in charge and yet they, they're not relenting. So once you start down a bad pathway, pride can prevent you from turning back. And the only logical thing to do at this point, hey, clearly, the magicians told him, you know, he's clearly outmatched. I mean, the Pharaoh has nothing in the bucket. He has no way to fight back against Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews. So at this point, the logical thing to do, you know, the, uh, the smart thing to do would be, let's make a deal, you know, to go ahead. I said I would do this. I'm doing it. I'm doing my part. That's what Pharaoh should do, but that's not where he's going. So here it is. He, he pushes back again. He refuses to let them go, and, and there we are. You know, how people make decisions is a fascinating thing. We have been given a free will. It's a gift. But God desires for us to choose in harmony with his plans for us. But Satan desires that we will choose in harmony with his plans for us. Satan often compels. I mean, Satan has no compunctions against hitting us when we're down. I mean, he will wait until you're in the lowest place, and that's when he'll kick you the hardest. That To him, that's the way you do things. Satan will look for a moment of special weakness, and there he'll make his strongest attack. Pride means that we're invested in ourselves, and it gives the devils a lever. It gives them something to, to, to wedge in and get their way on. Let's make sure that we don't do that. Here's a, a good thing not to learn from Pharaoh. Here's a thing to do the opposite. Don't be wedged in by your pride. That might be a lesson for us to take from Egypt. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning.